We don't know a lot about Irish politics. I so mean, what's going on with the DUP? Explain it was the DUP hilarious to me. to me. Like, I grew up with the DUP and knowing about them my whole life. It feels a bit like, you know when you have a banana at the bottom of your bag and you get squashed <laughs> and you forget about it, and then you take something out and you're like, oh, this has really affected everything. That's what England feels like with Northern <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> DUP are basically, like, they were set up by Ian Paisley because he didn't feel the Ulster Unionists were harsh enough. <laughs> they are anti-women's rights, anti-LGBTQ mm. rights, they are climate change deniers and creationists, and if they get into power, I have to say, I've never met a, a nicer bunch of lads. <laughs> they're they're anti-abortion and they're anti-gay, which strikes me as crazy. I mean, if you're anti-abortion, then surely you should be promoting bum fun. <laughs> You're making problems for yourself. <laughs> What's your view, Pam, uh, as an outsider, as an American looking in? Oh my gosh, as an American, I'm numb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I think it's great that Jeremy Corbyn did so well. It was mm. very surprising. Yeah. And, um, you know, Theresa May, I think maybe she'd uh, do well by maybe setting Julian Assange free. Now, are you, are you seeing Julian Assange now? There's I see him, I saw him today. How much space does he have to live in? Like, how. Very small space, like tiny. About as round as this thing right but, here. But as much as I feel sorry for him, he does have you coming round, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> Has he got a big telly? Has he got a telly? No. Has he, got, he hasn't got a telly? No. That's oh. mental. <laughs> How did you two meet? Uh, Vivian Westwood introduced us. Oh, and so such a celebby became... story. That's how we met, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. Well, he's very... <laughs> 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 I think the best thing about Julian Assange would be as a boyfriend. You never have to worry about where he is. I always know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, I don't feel like I could tell him a secret. <laughs> <laughs> when he needs to go to the toilet, you go, oh, I need to go for a leak. And you go, oh, that's what got you in this mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you play Glastonbury. I've done it twice now. You've done two Glastonbury's. Yeah. How was it for you? Amazing. I mean, well, I grew up in Somerset, actually. It's kind of like the, like, once you've got finished GCSEs, you go to Glastonbury. So to play it four years later was sick. Whoa. It? Wow. It was good. She it means was really it was good. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People talk about Glastonbury like they've been to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, 2007, uh, 2008. Uh, you know, it was crazy, crazy times. You just weed in a field and listen to music looking at the back of someone's head. <laughs> I used to go to it a lot and I thought I was having fun. <laughs> and then I took my husband, he'd never been when we first met. I said, I want to take you to Glastonbury. It's brilliant. It's really good fun. And then we were watching Coldplay and a bloke pissed up the back of his leg. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I am not having fun. <laughs> Kerry, that's was... better than going, I like this. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? That's more interesting if they banned girls from wearing denim shorts. About banning them on shoulders, because I'm, you know, usually standing behind them with the ump. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor fella is just trying to get his knob off. <laughs> <laughs> He's seven hours like that. <laughs> on the off chance. <laughs> uh, what a festival. <laughs> Do you have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> A business idea for festivals, which I've been trying to pitch for years, but no one's interested. Well, okay. Please. Okay, adult nappies. <gasps> I mean, I know that sounds a bit weird, but if you call them festival pants, <laughs> and then because the problem is you drink and then you go down the front and you're like, oh, I need a piss, and then you've got to go back, and it's a nightmare. Oh. Festival pants. What you could do is like put like pictures like Bono yes. on them. <laughs> Kate Moss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you could have Jay-Z on the front of it, and then you could have written, I got 99 problems, but a shit ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, <laughs> <Jay. laughs> <laughs> At Glastonbury now, instead of camping, you can go glamping, which is where you fly in by helicopter and stay in a posh tent. Though most regulars agree, glamping is for glunts. <laughs> <laughs>